Hi again. I'm sure I'll get used to speaking by video, but it still seems unusual. I pray that all is well in your home and among those you love. I want this morning to share with you the profound sense of gratitude I'm feeling. And I know that the word gratitude might sound strange, but I have heard so many wonderful stories of resilience and adaptability. I'm thankful today for the students and teachers in our Anglican schools. They've adapted so well to so much change in the last fortnight. I'm thankful for the staff of Samaritans and Anglican Care and the people we are privileged to support. I'm thankful for our clergy and parishioners and diocesan staff. On your behalf, I get to say thank you to everyone. We're a strange and big family as the Anglican Diocese of Newcastle. I'm sure you want to join with me in praising God for the many signs of kindness and care that you've experienced in the midst of uncertainty. And of course, it's not just in the Anglican family. Like you, I've been moved deeply by the profound service we've seen in our hospitals, our supermarkets, in the public service, and so many places. It is truly wonderful to see humanity at its best. And on your behalf, I get to say thank you to these people too. Those of you who are my age and older might remember singing the song Them Bones, Them Bones, Them Dry Bones with the help of ABC Radio in a primary school classroom. That song's based on a Bible story, the tale of a vision to the prophet Ezekiel, and that story is being told in many churches today. Ezekiel sees a valley of bones in a dream, which symbolises desolation and despair. God encourages Ezekiel, he says, I will put my spirit within you and you shall live. In all of what's going on, have some things encouraged you? I saw a beautiful sunrise the other morning near Meriwether Beach. It reminded me that there is always a new day. As a Christian, I trust in God and find hope in the promise of a new day, where with God's spirit we shall flourish. I do know we've got some time to go before things settle for us, and I pray it will go well for you. Until then, we're in a season of dramatic difference. For Anglicans, this means that the centre of our worship and prayer life is the home rather than the church building. Our church buildings might be closed, but the church is everywhere, across the diocese and across the globe. We are the living body of our Lord Jesus Christ. I do encourage you as you change your patterns of hygiene and community living to also make time to tend to your soul. I encourage you to make time for prayer and meditation, to ponder sacred things, to be still and reflect. I pray that God might continue to sustain, bless and protect you and those you love in this season. With you, I long for the time when we can all be together again and celebrate. Until we meet again, may peace be with you.